When we start out the year with our players, we list what our priorities are, and the number one priority is family. Uh, number two priority is academic. Number three priority is softball. I think parents love that about Central and about Division II schools. Gary's just taught us that life is bigger than the game, that you know, you're in the moment, you're playing softball, but you need to be a good person and you need to do things in life that are right. And I think that that was reflected in what happened here at Central. There was no epiphany. It was the right thing to do. Because she hit over the fence and she deserved it. I saw her and I was closest to her first base. And at the time, the only way I knew how to help her and get her off the field to train her, because they couldn't even touch her, was to carry her. If any of my other teammates would have known it, they would have done it. When it was happening, I pretty much was just focusing on Sarah. We we'll get you on the bases, and I didn't look up to see like anyone's reaction. It was just it was helping Sarah out, and then we went back and tried to finish the game. After the game, one of the other dads came up and was like, "You know, that was a really nice thing you did." We played a doubleheader the next day. We had another game the following day, and by that time, it, I hadn't even thought about it anymore. So absolutely no inclination that anything would transpire. When the article came out in the New York Times, that's when it really, really ballooned. We got to go to the All-Star Game at Yankee Stadium, you know, being on the Ellen DeGeneres show, going to the ESPYs, and those are all amazing. But more importantly, I think, is just connecting and talking with people. I could really care less if my name is ever used in the story, as long as, like, the message gets across. You can instill this in your kids. I did it, but I was taught this forever. My dad my mom, they were like, it's more than just a game. And Gary here, he was all about, you know, winning's good, but playing fair is better. What it has meant to me is the fact that uh, you think that maybe you did have a part uh, of the decision that was made. And I think, uh, to me, it's a life-changing thing. I'll never forget it. It's about the human spirit, and it's about life and making connections with other people. My name's Mallory Holtman, former softball player at Central Washington University, and I chose D2. My name is Liz Wallace. I'm a senior education major, a Douglas Honors College member, and a varsity player for the Wildcat softball team at Central Washington University, and I chose Division II.